Black pepper, the most common spice in your kitchen, once fueled entire empires known as black gold. It shaped trade routes, drove colonial wars, and was considered sacred in many ancient systems of medicine. But behind its pungent aroma lies a deeper hidden power, a compound called piperine. Today, that compound has been quietly turned into one of the most controversial backbones of modern chemistry, piperidine, and from piperidine the pharmaceutical world and the underworld built fentanyl. This is not a conspiracy theory. It's chemical genealogy. Fentanyl, the drug responsible for more than 100,000 deaths annually in the U.S. alone, is a derivative of piperidine, and piperidine can be synthesized directly from piperine, the bioactive compound in black pepper. While modern labs now use synthetic shortcuts, the molecular logic, the very scaffold, is inspired by nature. Let's unpack this with surgical clarity. Piperine, the compound found in black pepper, features a natural benzodioxal ring and a long aliphatic amide tail. It's a neuroprotective modulator, a GABA supporter, and a bioenhancer. When hydrolyzed and reduced in a lab, this compound becomes piperidine, a saturated nitrogen ring simple in structure, but profound in consequence. This transformation isn't fiction, it's foundational organic chemistry, once piperidine was isolated, first from pepper, then made synthetically. It became the scaffold for a pharmacological revolution over 20 powerful substances, both legal and illegal, now stem from this single molecule. These include fentanyl, carfentanyl, methylphenidate, sufentanyl, risperidone, and even Alzheimer's drug, donopezil. From amphetamines to opioids to antipsychotics, they all share the same chemical root. But unlike black pepper, which evolved with human biochemistry over millennia, these synthetic derivatives act with no brace, no boundaries, no balancing cofactors. They hijack specific receptors and override natural feedback systems. The result is power without wisdom, a molecule with the speed of lightning and the control of a runaway train. Both the pharmaceutical industry and the drug underworld are not creating new biology. They're hijacking ancient systems. They're targeting the same neural circuits that compounds like piperine evolved to gently support. But instead of harmony, they deliver chaos. Instead of modulation, they create domination, where piperine lightly modulates dopamine and GABA for mood balance and mental clarity. Synthetic derivatives like fentanyl and methamphetamine overload these circuits. Piperine upregulates genes like BDNF and CREB supporting memory and neurogenesis. Fentanyl downregulates them, triggering synaptic pruning and emotional collapse. Meth floods dopamine, then leaves the system depleted, dysregulated, and desperate. These hijacked derivatives twist what nature built turning neurotransmitter communication into chemical warfare. Where piperine reduces inflammation, markers like IL-6 and TNFA fentanyl inflames them, damaging the brain and body. The dopamine transporter gene, SLC6A3, delicately modulated by piperine is suppressed or mutated under meth and fentanyl exposure. The result is a rewired brain, one that forgets peace and remembers only craving Nature never made drugs, it made teachers. Black pepper wasn't just a spice, it was a molecular sage encoded with adaptogenic intelligence. Its compound piperine works like a symphony conductor, gently guiding neurotransmitters, enhancing other nutrients like curcumin protecting neurons and tuning the immune system. Now contrast this with pharma pharmaceutical labs, isolate one receptor, like mu opioid, and hit it with brute force. No entourage compounds, no balancing act, just a single target strike. It's not medicine, it's chemical authoritarianism. The goal isn't healing, it's control. And then comes the cartel. They take the pharmaceutical model and amplify it. Fentanyl analogs are not just potent, they are predatory, designed for maximum pleasure and minimum recovery. They don't fit into human metabolism, they shatter it. Withdrawal isn't just painful, it's neurological exile. Nature creates integration. 
Pharma creates dependence. The cartel creates destruction. The tragedy. It all began with a ring. A six-membered piperidine ring that once lived quietly inside Black Pepper. Now it's the core of the world's most abused synthetic neurotoxins. What if the solution to a collapsing neurochemical system wasn't a new drug, but a return to one of the oldest Black Pepper? When taken regularly in meals, teas, or infused oils, doesn't just spice your food. It reawakens your brain. Black pepper enhances dopamine without crashing it. It modulates GABA without numbing emotion. It boosts BDNF and CREB, the very genes suppressed by fentanyl meth and stress. It reduces IL-6 TNF alpha and inflammation at the molecular level. This isn't detox, it's recoding. We've been taught to fear drugs like fentanyl, but not to ask where they came from. The truth is, they came from us, from nature, from the ring of piperdine that first lived in black pepper vine, and now it's time to take it back. Eat black pepper with every meal. Make it a daily ritual, not as spice, but as defense, as medicine, as remembrance, because nature gave us the keys to balance. Pharma turned them into chains. Now it's our turn to heal, to remember, and to reclaim the neural harmony we were born with. If you know someone, a friend, a family member, anyone, who is addicted to fentanyl or trapped in a cycle of pharma dependency, share this video with them. Share this knowledge. It could be the lifeline that reminds them of a deeper truth. A truth hidden in plain sight, that nature had already given us everything we needed long before pharma told us we were broken. Let this be more than just a video. Let it be a spark, a message, a shift in awareness. Because the more people understand the root of their struggle, the closer they are to healing it at the source. Together we can return to balance, one pepper grain at a time.